Contrary to popular belief, Daisy Arnaz's life was not solely defined by his role as Ricky Ricardo on I Love Lucy. Although he and Lucio Ball were married for six years and remained friends after their divorce in 1960, Arnaz's achievements extended far beyond his work with his former wife. Born in Cuba, Arnaz came to the United States and became a renowned musician, actor, and producer. He served as the executive producer of I Love Lucy, introducing innovative production techniques such as filming in front of a live audience. His impact on the entertainment industry transcended his time on the small screen as he continued to produce successful shows and films. Despite the challenges he faced in his personal life, Arnis left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, one that continues to resonate with audiences today. Daisy Arnaz, born on March 2, 1917, in Santiago de Cuba, was no stranger to the spotlight. Growing up in a wealthy and influential family, he was exposed to the world of entertainment at a young age. However, his path to becoming a successful producer and musician was not without its challenges. Arnaz's family fled Cuba in 1933 after his father, a supporter of the ousted president, faced political persecution. The family settled in Miami, where Arnaz's love for music and performing grew. He began playing the congas and singing in local nightclubs, eventually forming his own band. In the late 1930s, Arnaz made his way to Hollywood, where he landed small roles in films and continued to perform with his band. However, it was his role as Ricky Ricardo in the classic TV show I Love Lucy that would solidify his place in television history. Behind the scenes, Arnaz was a trailblazer in the television industry. He formed Zillu Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball, and became one of the first producers to shoot shows on film instead of Kinescope, allowing for better quality and the ability to rebroadcast episodes. Arnaz also fought for creative control and the ability to incorporate his Cuban culture into the show. He insisted on speaking with a Cuban accent and incorporating Latin music into the show's storylines. Despite the success of I Love Lucy, Arnaz faced discrimination and prejudice due to his Cuban heritage. He was often typecast as a Latin lover and faced backlash from anti-communist groups during the Red Scare. Arnaz's impact on television and the entertainment industry is still felt today. His innovative producing techniques and commitment to showcasing his culture have paved the way for diverse representation on television. From his humble beginnings in Cuba to his rise as a successful producer and musician, Daisy Arnaz's story is a testament to his resilience and determination in the face of adversity. His contributions to the world of classic TV continue to resonate with audiences today. Daisy Arnaz came from a family with a rich history and significant political ties. His family had amassed wealth through their involvement in the Bacardi rum industry, owning mansions, ranches, yachts, livestock, and sports cars. The Arnaz family was well respected and had a strong presence in Cuban society. As the son of a prominent family, Daisy was expected to follow in his family's footsteps and pursue a career in politics. He was groomed for this future from a young age and was expected to attend college and return to Cuba to take his place in the political arena. However, Daisy's life took a different turn when he became involved in the entertainment industry. Despite his family's expectations, he found success as a producer, creating some of the most beloved television shows of all time. Daisy's family's political aspirations may have influenced his early life, but his own talents and passions led him down a different path. Despite the expectations placed upon him, he was able to forge his own path and create a legacy that continues to be celebrated today. Daisy's story is a reminder that while our backgrounds and upbringings can shape our expectations and goals, we ultimately have the power to choose our own path and create our own destinies. Whether in politics or entertainment, Daisy's success serves as an inspiration to all who strive to make their mark in the world. Daisy Arnaz and his family faced a devastating loss during the revolution in their home country, which forced them to leave everything behind and start anew in Miami. The Arnaz family, now refugees, had to adjust to their challenging circumstances. Daisy, his mother, and his sister moved into a small warehouse, while Daisy's father found work as a janitor to make ends meet. Daisy's father, a tile contractor in their home country, decided to go back to what he knew best the tile business. 
Stacy, eager to help his family, joined his father in this new venture. It was during this time that Daisy's ingenuity and creativity truly shone. He came up with innovative ideas to improve their tile-making process, which helped the business thrive. Their tile business became a success, and the Arnas family was able to rebuild their lives in Miami. Daisy's experience in the tile business taught him valuable skills that he would later use in his film and television career. This early setback in his life did not deter him from achieving his dreams, and he went on to become a successful producer, musician, and actor. Daisy Arnaz, a talented musician, began his journey to fame by forming the Simone Septet, a music group that showcased his skills. As the group performed, Daisy's name began to spread throughout the industry, and he quickly gained popularity in New York City. One of Daisy's most notable contributions to the music scene was starting the Conga Line, a lively dance that became a sensation in the city's nightclubs. This innovative move helped to solidify Daisy's reputation as a trailblazer in the industry. In addition to his work with the Simone Septet, Daisy also worked on the musical Too Many Girls. The show was a hit, and Daisy's performance was met with critical acclaim. His charisma and talent shone through, and he became a beloved figure in the world of musical theater. Daisy's success in the music industry laid the groundwork for his future endeavors in film and television. His ability to captivate audiences and his undeniable talent made him a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry. And so, Daisy Arnaz continued to make his mark on the world of entertainment, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Daisy Arnaz met the love of his life, Lucille Ball, during the production of the musical Too Many Girls in 1939. Despite initial tensions between them, their relationship blossomed, and they tied the knot later that same year. However, their marriage was far from smooth sailing. The couple had a tumultuous relationship, plagued by affairs and trust issues. Daisy's infidelity was an open secret in Hollywood, and Lucille struggled to come to terms with his betrayals. Despite their personal issues, they maintained a strong public image as a happy couple, often seen laughing and joking together on the set of their hit TV show, I Love Lucy, behind the scenes. However, their relationship was fraught with tension. Lucille's rising fame and success in the entertainment industry led to power struggles and jealousy, while Daisy's drinking and womanizing added fuel to the fire. Despite their differences, they continued to work together, creating one of the most beloved TV shows in history. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, and I Love Lucy became an instant hit with audiences. The show's success allowed Lucille to gain more control over her career, and eventually led to the creation of Dezilu Productions, a production company co-owned by the couple. Despite their personal struggles, Daisy and Lucille's professional partnership was a force to be reckoned with. They continued to work together until their divorce in 1960, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Through all the ups and downs of their relationship, Daisy and Lucille remain committed to their love for each other and their shared passion for the entertainment industry. Their story is a testament to the power of love, forgiveness, and the unbreakable bond between two people who were meant to be together. Daisy Arnaz and his wife, Lucille Ball, were no strangers to marital issues. Daisy's infidelity and Lucille's affairs marked their tumultuous relationship, with both having multiple dalliances. However, despite their personal issues, their show I Love Lucy was a massive success, keeping them together. The classic sitcom, which aired from 1951 to 1957, became one of the most popular and enduring shows in television history. The show's success was due in large part to the undeniable chemistry between Daisy and Lucille, who played a fictionalized version of themselves. Despite the show's success, the couple's marriage was far from perfect. In 1955, a scandal erupted when Daisy's infidelity was exposed, adding strain to their already troubled relationship. The news of his affair was a significant blow to Lucille, who had always been fiercely loyal to her husband. The scandal put a spotlight on the couple's personal lives, and the constant media attention only added to the tension between them. The couple tried to work through their issues, but ultimately, the strain was too great. In 1960, after 20 years of marriage, Daisy and Lucille divorced. Daisy's infidelity and Lucille's affairs were not the only challenges the couple faced. 
both struggled with their careers, with Daisy's drinking and Lucille's demanding work schedule causing further tension. However, despite these challenges, the couple remained committed to their show, which remained popular throughout its run. In the end, the success of I Love Lucy was a testament to the undeniable chemistry between Daisy and Lucille, even as their personal lives were in turmoil. The show remains a classic to this day, a reminder of a bygone era of television and a tumultuous marriage that somehow endured. After his divorce from Lucille Ball in 1960, Daisy Arnaz remarried in 1963. Lucille also remarried in 1961, but she always considered Daisy the love of her life. After his time in the entertainment industry, Daisy owned a horse breeding farm and taught at San Diego State University. Unfortunately, Daisy Arnaz passed away from lung cancer in 1986. Daisy Arnaz, born Desiderio Alberto Arnaz III on March 2, 1917, in Santiago, Cuba, was exposed to music at a young age. His father, Desiderio Arnaz Roman II, was the mayor of Santiago and a prominent figure in the local music scene. The elder Arnaz played the string bass and sang, often performing with his band at social events. Daisy's mother, Dolores Defer, was a talented singer and actress. As a child, Daisy often accompanied his father to rehearsals and performances, where he developed a love for music and show business. When Daisy was 15, his family fled Cuba during a political upheaval and settled in Miami, Florida. There, Daisy's father formed a new band and began performing at local venues. Daisy joined his father on stage, playing percussion and singing. Daisy's talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of local producers and musicians. He began performing with various bands and orchestras, eventually forming his own group, the Daisy Arnaz Orchestra. The band became popular in Miami and soon began touring the country. During this time, Daisy met Lucille Ball, an up-and-coming actress and comedian. The two fell in love and were married in 1940. Together, they formed Zillow Productions, a production company that would go on to create some of the most popular television shows of all time, including I Love Lucy, Daisy's early exposure to music and show business, as well as his parents' influence, played a significant role in shaping his career. His talent and hard work, combined with Lucille Ball's comedic genius, helped him become one of the most successful producers in television history. Daisy Arnaz's passion for entertainment began at a young age, growing up in a musical family in Cuba. His father was a band leader, and Daisy often joined him on stage learning to play various instruments. However, it was his acting debut in his high school's production of El Barbero de Sevilla that truly sparked his interest in performing. In 1937, at the age of 18, Daisy's family decided to move to the United States. They settled in Miami, where Daisy formed his own band, the Daisy Arnaz Orchestra. His charm and musicianship quickly gained popularity, leading to performances at prestigious venues like the Waldorf Osteria in New York City. Daisy's big break in Hollywood came in 1939 when he was cast in the film Too Many Girls. It was there that he met Lucille Ball, who would later become his wife and creative partner. Although Daisy had initially planned to focus on his music career, his experience in Too Many Girls ignited his love for acting and producing. During the filming of Too Many Girls, Daisy and Lucille discovered their undeniable chemistry both on and off screen. They soon decided to collaborate on a new project leading to the creation of the iconic television show I Love Lucy. Daisy's innovative approach to television production, including the use of a three-camera setup, revolutionized the industry and solidified his place as a pioneering figure in entertainment. Throughout his career, Daisy Arnaz continued to break barriers and push the boundaries of creativity. His passion for music, acting, and producing left an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape, inspiring future generations of artists and creators. From his early days in Cuba to his groundbreaking work in Hollywood, Daisy's creative spark remained a driving force in his life, fueling his desire to share his talents with the world. Daisy Arnaz, a talented musician and actor, faced significant challenges in his journey to becoming a successful producer. Born in 1917 in Cuba, Arnaz moved to the United States and experienced financial struggles early on. To make ends meet, he worked various jobs, including playing the conga in nightclubs. 
and the world of entertainment, Arnaz encountered skepticism due to his thick Cuban accent and unconventional appearance. However, he refused to let these obstacles hinder his progress. Instead, Arnaz embraced his uniqueness and used it to his advantage. One of the most notable challenges Arnaz faced was industry prejudice against Latino actors. Despite this, he persevered and created opportunities for himself and other Latino performers. In 1951, Arnaz co-founded the Zulu Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball. This groundbreaking company produced several successful television shows, including I Love Lucy. Arnaz's resilience and creativity were also evident in his innovative use of a three-camera setup for filming I Love Lucy. At the time, most sitcoms used a single camera, but Arnaz believed that a multi-camera setup would better capture the show's live audience reactions. This creative solution revolutionized the television industry and is still used today. In addition to his producing success, Arnaz also faced technical challenges during the filming of I Love Lucy. To accommodate Ball's real-life pregnancy, Arnaz and the show's writers had to come up with creative solutions to keep the show's storylines intact. They did this by incorporating Ball's pregnancy into the show's plot, making Lucy Ricardo the first pregnant character on television. Despite the numerous obstacles he faced, Daisy Arnaz remained resilient and found creative solutions to overcome them. His determination and innovative thinking not only led to his success as a producer, but also paved the way for future Latino performers and producers in the entertainment industry. Daisy Arnaz, a man of many talents, experienced several breakthrough moments throughout his career. In the late 1930s, while playing music with his band, the young Cuban-American musician caught the attention of Xavier Cugat, a renowned band leader. Impressed by Arnaz's energy and charisma, Cugat offered him a job, which marked the beginning of Arnaz's professional music career. Later, in the early 1950s, Arnaz co-founded Dazilu Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball. Their groundbreaking sitcom, I Love Lucy, became an instant hit, revolutionizing the television industry. Arnaz introduced the concept of filming in front of a live audience and using multiple cameras, which significantly improved the quality of television shows and set new standards for the industry. As a producer, Arnaz took another significant step by purchasing the RKO studio lot in 1957. This acquisition allowed Dazilu Productions to produce shows like The Untouchables and Star Trek, further solidifying Arnaz's status as a pioneering figure in the entertainment industry. Arnaz's impact on the industry was not limited to his producing skills. As an actor, he showcased his comedic talent in I Love Lucy, earning critical acclaim and the admiration of his peers. His portrayal of Ricky Ricardo, a Cuban band leader, resonated with audiences and provided a positive representation of Latino culture during a time when such portrayals were rare. In conclusion, Daisy Arnaz's breakthrough moments were marked by his innovative spirit and versatile talent. From his early days as a musician to his groundbreaking work in television production, Arnaz left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, inspiring future generations of artists and producers. Daisy Arnaz, a talented producer, brought a unique approach to his work, characterized by his ability to integrate various aspects of entertainment. Growing up in Cuba, then moving to America, Daisy's multicultural background significantly influenced his artistic vision. In the 1950s, Daisy co-founded the Zillow Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball. This studio became famous for producing shows like I Love Lucy, which broke ground in terms of filming techniques and storytelling. Daisy's innovative use of multiple cameras and live audiences allowed for a more dynamic and engaging viewing experience. Daisy's personal experiences, such as his background in music, often found their way into his productions. For instance, he incorporated Latin rhythms into the I Love Lucy show, reflecting his Cuban heritage. This cultural fusion resonated with audiences and added depth to the characters and stories. Moreover, Daisy's approach to comedy was distinct. He believed in the power of visual gags and physical humor, which became a staple of his productions. His productions often featured slapstick comedy, facial expressions, and clever use of props, making them appealing to a broad audience. Daisy's artistic vision was not limited to television. He also ventured into film production, bringing his unique style to movies like The Long, Long Trailer, and Forever, Darling. 
These films further showcased his ability to balance humor, drama, and visual storytelling. In conclusion, Daisy Arnaz's creative process was deeply rooted in his personal experiences and multicultural background. His innovative techniques and unique comedic style left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry, transcending generations and resonating with audiences worldwide. Daisy Arnaz, a groundbreaking producer, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. He introduced innovative techniques that transformed television production. Arnaz pioneered the use of multiple cameras for filming, allowing for a more dynamic and engaging viewing experience. Industry expert Tim Brooks, co-author of the Complete Directory to Primetime Network and cable TV shows, states Arnaz's use of multiple cameras was revolutionary. It allowed for a more realistic and spontaneous feel, which was a significant departure from the staged and static productions of the time. Arnaz's most notable contribution, the show I Love Lucy, broke barriers and set new standards for television. The show's innovative format, including the use of Arnaz's signature three-camera setup, allowed for the integration of live audiences and the recording of shows on film. This approach enabled the show to be syndicated, a novel concept at the time, ensuring its enduring legacy. Furthermore, Arnaz's influence extended beyond production techniques. He was a strong advocate for diversity and inclusion in the industry. As a Cuban-American, Arnaz faced discrimination and prejudice, which fueled his determination to create opportunities for minorities in television. His efforts led to the casting of minorities in leading roles, contributing to a more diverse and inclusive industry landscape. Actress and comedian Lucille Ball, Arnaz's wife and co-star in I Love Lucy, once said, Daisy broke down walls for Latinos and other minorities in the industry. He was a pioneer who understood the importance of representation and diversity. In conclusion, Daisy Arnaz's contributions to the entertainment industry were transformative. His innovative production techniques and commitment to diversity and inclusion continue to resonate today. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of creativity, determination, and the pursuit of equality. Daisy Arnaz, best known as a producer and musician, led a life full of passion and dedication to his values and interests outside of his professional sphere. Born on March 2, 1917, in Santiago, Cuba, Arnaz's love for music started at a young age. This passion would later inform his work as he co-founded Dezulu Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball, and created the famous I Love Lucy show, which often featured his musical talents. Arnaz's philanthropic efforts were deeply rooted in his personal values. He was passionate about supporting children's causes and veterans' organizations. In 1957, he and Lucille Ball established the Lucy Daisy Comedy Hour, donating the show's profits to the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Arnaz's commitment to helping children extended beyond his professional life, as he was also known for privately funding the medical care of underprivileged children. Additionally, Arnaz was a strong advocate for veterans, having served in the U.S. Army during World War II. He often used his platform to raise awareness for veterans' issues and actively supported organizations such as the American Legion and the Veterans of Foreign Wars. Arnaz's love for his Cuban heritage was another significant aspect of his life outside of work. He was proud of his roots and frequently incorporated Cuban music and culture into his productions. His dedication to preserving and sharing his heritage even led him to establish the Daisy Arnaz Bandshell in San Juan, Puerto Rico, in 1988, providing a venue for local musicians to perform. In summary, Daisy Arnaz's personal values and interests, such as his love for music, dedication to children and veterans, and pride in his Cuban heritage, played a crucial role in shaping his professional life and philanthropic efforts. His legacy continues to resonate today inspiring future generations to embrace their passions and use their talents to make a difference in the world. Daisy Arnaz, a legendary figure in the entertainment industry, left an indelible mark on television production. He was not only a talented actor, but also a skilled musician, producer, and director. Arnaz is perhaps best known for his role as Ricky Ricardo in the classic sitcom I Love Lucy, which he also co-produced with his wife, Lucio Ball. Arnaz was a pioneer in many ways. He was one of the first producers to use multiple cameras to film a sitcom, 
which allowed for live audiences and a more dynamic filming style. This innovation revolutionized the way television shows were produced and is still used today. Moreover, Arnaz was a trailblazer for Latinx representation in Hollywood. He proudly showcased his Cuban heritage on I Love Lucy, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations of Latinx actors and producers. For aspiring professionals in the entertainment industry, Arnaz's legacy offers valuable lessons. He demonstrated the importance of creativity, innovation, and hard work. He also showed that representation matters and that diverse perspectives can enrich the entertainment landscape. Arnaz once said, I'd rather be a failure at something I love than a success at something I hate. This advice encourages aspiring professionals to pursue their passions and not be afraid to take risks. It also highlights the importance of finding fulfillment and joy in one's work. In terms of future contributions, the entertainment industry can continue to build upon Arnaz's legacy by prioritizing innovation, representation, and diversity. By embracing new ideas and perspectives, the industry can create captivating and inclusive content that resonates with audiences worldwide. In conclusion, Daisy Arnaz's legacy continues to inspire and influence the entertainment industry. His contributions as an actor, musician, producer, and director have left a lasting impact, and his advice for aspiring professionals remains relevant today. By prioritizing creativity, innovation, and representation, the industry can honor Arnaz's legacy and continue to create captivating and diverse content for generations to come. Daisy Arnaz, a passionate and innovative figure, forever changed the entertainment industry. Born in Cuba in 1917, he found his calling in the United States as a producer, musician, and actor. Arnaz co-founded the Zulu Productions with his wife, Lucille Ball, in the late 1940s. This groundbreaking studio introduced revolutionary production techniques, such as the three-camera setup, which transformed the way sitcoms were filmed. One of Dezilu's most successful projects was the iconic series I Love Lucy. Arnaz's creative vision and business acumen led the show to new heights, making it a lasting legacy in television history. As a musician, Daisy Arnaz introduced America to Cuban rhythms through his band, the Daisy Arnaz Orchestra. He combined traditional Latin music with big band sounds, creating a unique and infectious blend that captivated audiences. Throughout his career, Arnaz faced numerous challenges, from language barriers to cultural prejudices. Yet, his perseverance and creativity allowed him to break down barriers and leave an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Daisy Arnaz's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and determination. His innovative spirit and unwavering passion continue to resonate today, inspiring future generations to step into the world of entertainment and make their own indelible marks. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work and legacy of Daisy Arnaz, a true trailblazer in the entertainment industry. As a producer, he brought us the beloved classic I Love Lucy, which continues to captivate audiences today. Arnaz was not only a talented producer, but also a skilled musician and actor. His contributions to the world of entertainment are still felt today, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of creative spirits. Through his work on I Love Lucy, Arnaz challenged conventions and broke down barriers, paving the way for future generations of diverse voices in entertainment. His impact on the industry is undeniable, and his work continues to resonate with audiences today. So, let's hear your thoughts on Daisy Arnaz's work and legacy. What did you love most about I Love Lucy? How do you think Arnaz's contributions have shaped the entertainment landscape? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insights into the creative minds shaping entertainment. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Daisy Arnaz and the many other talented individuals who have left their mark on the industry.